What is up YouTube, Mr. KSTAR here with another blockchain gaming tutorial. Today's video is special because I was finally able to dive into the Axie Infinity world. As you all know, Axie Infinity is arguably the biggest play to earn game there is out there. So I decided to make a quick tutorial for those of you that are unsure of how to send assets back and forth between your Ronin wallet and your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so first things first, uh, you need to install the Ronin wallet as well as the MetaMask wallet. So if you don't have those, you come over to the Chrome web store and you just type in here Ronin and it pops up as you can see. I've already installed it, so I'll click on it and show you, but I've already installed it. So you go ahead and install it and make sure you set up your account properly. Write down your uh, password and your secret pass uh, phrase. Just keep it somewhere safe. Once you're done that, come back to this video. And you have to also do the same thing for MetaMask, but I'm assuming you most likely have MetaMask set up already because most of us use that on a daily basis. Okay, assuming that you set up uh, the Chrome extensions for Ronin and MetaMask, the next step is to come over to your Axie Infinity dashboard and then log in with both of your wallets. So we'll start with MetaMask. And then I'm also gonna make sure that my Ronin wallet's connected. There we go. I'm just going to hit refresh here one second. So there you have it. Both of my wallets are connected and now I'm ready to make any kind of transactions. So as you can see, I've got 0.224 wrapped ETH in my Rona wallet and I've got 0.0359 ETH in my MetaMask wallet. So let's say you wanted to buy an Axie and you've transferred funds to your MetaMask wallet. Now, what you would need to do is transfer those funds, uh, most likely the ETH that you have, to the Ronin wallet. And in order to do that, you would use the bridge function. So when you click bridge, you have three options here. You can deposit, which is what we're going to do. You can withdraw, or you can upgrade your old SLP slash access. So if you wanted to deposit ETH into your Ronin wallet, all you do is click deposit. And as you can see here, it says Ethereum network to Ronin network. So now you need your Ronin address and it says, make sure your Ronin address starts with Ronin. Okay, no problem. You go back to your dashboard and you've got your address right there. So you just got to copy it to clipboard, go back and paste. So now you know that you have the right address. And then before you move on, you got to select the asset. So in this case, we wanted to deposit ETH. So let's say we wanted to buy uh, some axes. So you select ETH and then you select the amount. Since I don't have that much, let's just click max for the sake of this example. Then you click next. You confirm. And then your MetaMask pops up. As you can uh, see here, I don't have enough uh, to cover the gas because I went max but uh, you have the option to confirm or reject. We're gonna reject because I don't wanna do this, but it's that simple. If I wanted to go through with it, I would just click confirm and then the funds would be transferred over to the Ronin wallet. So we're gonna click reject here and escape this. So it was that simple to deposit ETH from your MetaMask wallet to your Ronin wallet. You can also do the reverse. So let's say that you earned some SLP from playing the game and you want to withdraw it to your MetaMask wallet so you can then sell it on, let's say, Binance for some ETH and cash out. So in order to do that, you can still use the bridge function, but this time you're gonna go to withdraw. And here you can see it's kind of the reverse. You've got Ronin going to Ethereum, You'll need your Ethereum address. You can come back here again, copy to clipboard, come back and paste it. And you select your asset and in this case would be SLP. 
and then I only have 57 right now but you could withdraw however many you have and there will be a fee associated with it if you decide to withdraw so I'm not gonna go through that because I don't want to pay that fee for so little SLP but now you know how to withdraw SLP from Ronin and you also know how to send some uh, ETH over to the Ronin network if you plan on buying axes or even breeding and that's it for today you guys if you have any questions regarding this transferring back and forth don't hesitate to ask in the comments down below and I will answer them as best as I can and one last favor if this video was helpful hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to send it to the moon I'm out for now.